Good morning from a very, very windy East London. We're down on the first floor now and I just thought I'd do this quick little video just to show you some of the other work that us here at Clean Kill Pest Control, we do. You can see that we've got a brand, brand new building here that's only recently just been finished. You can see it's a fair, fair expanse. And it's not just this floor, we've got another floor above as well. And unfortunately, like you've probably seen in previous videos, they've situated this building right in between three landfill sites. So there is an abundance of pest birds, which would all, if they're left to their own devices, it wouldn't be long at all before they took over these buildings. You can see that we've got all these cable plates, which are all perfect places up there for pigeons to sit down and hunker down. It doesn't take much. Well, a feral pigeon don't need much, shall I say, to, to want to, or to raise their eggs. They will literally put a couple of twigs, or in most cases in London, cable ties that they tend to find laying around, and literally just dump them down and lay two eggs on it. And that is that. And then the mess that they then cause is absolutely atrocious. This is another site that we do falconry work out on the main rooftops, just to keep the seagulls pushed away from the area once again, because they cause a problem. But then, like I say, alongside that, which you, as you can see, I don't know how well you can see because the glare, but this whole complete expanse has been completely netted off. And like I say, not just this floor, but the floor above as well. And then, like I say, can be used and combined with the falconry as well. It just keeps pest birds moved away from this area. A lot of these buildings are all still empty. They're not even taken yet. So, like I say, it's nice and quiet here. It's out the elements. Little areas like this, you can see, just tucked away out the way. These are the areas that pigeons would naturally be drawn to at night time. They tuck themselves away in little corners. They sit on these nice warm pipes, which you can't blame them really on a cold winter's night, but only if they was to know the mess they make. So that's why as a company we're brought in to carry out various different works. And like I say, the falconry will work, but you need to use other methods such as netting and audible bird scarers, laser pens. For it all to work alongside each other. Simply just doing one thing alone doesn't solve the problem. Not when you're dealing with massive big numbers like such as London, flocks, that could be a few hundred strong some of these pigeons. Gulls even more so. So when, when spring comes, they're all naturally wanting to breed and they take advantage of areas like this. But you can see the pride that the lads have taken with this job. The whole area has been completely netted off. And like I say, the floor upstairs is a mirror image of this one as well. So they've done all upstairs as well. I'm not sure of the square meterage, but let me tell you, it's a fair amount. You can see once again, all the lines are lovely, perfectly straight. All the cables are nice, got nice tension in them. Plenty of fixings going in, so there's no sagging, none of the wires. Like I say, all the squares in the actual net itself are running nice and straight, which gives the job a nice visual effect, which looks nice when it's finished. But yeah. And in turn, that will keep this place nice and clean and pigeon free. You can see it's a lovely big area, nice and clean. And you can see why the company want to keep it that way. So yeah, job well done. Anyway, I'm going to get the birds out and get up onto the roof. And I wish you a good day. All the best and take care.